This Paint Life TV, I'm Chris the Idaho Painter. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made a simple little template for hanging my cabinet doors to spray them. As a lot of you know, I spray my cabinet doors hanging using cup hooks. I can spray all four sides and front and backs of cabinet doors so I can do them fast and efficiently and make some money. So if you wanna see how I made this simple little template for setting my cup hooks, stay tuned for this video. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you how we go about making the template for uh, setting your cup hooks for uh, spraying your doors hanging up on the PSDR system. I typically, uh, in the past, would use just a stir stick like this. I'd measure 10 inches apart and I would screw two either drywall screws or deck screws right into my stir stick and they would protrude out just a little bit and that would be my template for taking and setting on my door, whatever side I'm gonna set my cup hooks on, and I would press it down. That would make two tiny little marks, and that's where I'm gonna screw my, or drill my 3 30 seconds in hole to uh, end up putting my cup hooks. So that system worked, but here's a really cool professional looking template that works really well. It's not gonna break, it's easy to store in your vehicle, and it just looks really cool, just like a professional tool. So let me show you how this little device is made. All right, here we go. It's a piece of angle iron right here. You can go down just to your local hardware store, buy a piece of angle iron. It comes in a lot of different lengths. Now this angle iron, this is a one inch angle iron, so it's an inch on both sides. So get a piece of angle iron, you really only need 11 inches cut this thing to 11 inches, and then we're going to drill in our pilot holes right here, which is gonna guide our 3 30 seconds inch bit. So we got our angle iron. We also put on our angle iron, we've got felt and this felt right here. You can use it. It's um, basically like what you put on the bottom of furniture to slide around on floors and stuff. And it's got a self-adhesive back on it. And that uh, it, that um, felt itself, that is just a quarter inch felt. It's tacked on there. So we've got our angle iron, we've got our felt so it won't scratch or mark our door. We're actually gonna be painting the door, but you just don't want it to mark or scratch a door that's going to show so and it also just makes a soft landing for um, your template to sit on the top of the door to do your pilot holes now your pilot holes these are 764 holes that are drilled into your aluminum template right here and they're set in a quarter inch so they're set in or actually they're set in a half inch from the edge of your aluminum angle iron and then they're going to be set in if your angle iron's 11 inches we're setting them in a half inch half inch one way half inch another way and now you're just going to drill a 764 pilot hole in your angle iron to guide your 330 3 seconds inch bit all right, so once you've got your pilot hole set, you've got your felt backing on here set, you can also just take a file and file these edges after you cut your angle iron. That way there's no sharp burrs or anything on your template. And your template, then you're just gonna end up using it just like this. I'm gonna take my template, I'm gonna set it on top of my door. Now you want it set on, on your top of your doors. You're always gonna drill the holes on the top so that people won't see them. On the bottom doors, they're always gonna be drilled on the bottom. And for those of you who think it's an absolute sin to put cup hooks or drill holes in your cabinet doors, I'm gonna show you another option after this video where you don't have to do so. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but it actually works for some people. So now I've got my angle iron set. It just sets on my cabinet door. It's centered right in the door. And now I'm going to just take and drill my two pilot holes in here. For my cup hooks, so drill a hole. It's a, and that's a 3 30 seconds inch bit that you're gonna be using. I've got two pilot holes set right in the middle there. And now I'm gonna take two three quarter inch cup hooks and just screw those cup hooks in. And now you can hang your door for spraying. Very simple, easy system, and very cool little professional looking template made out of one inch aluminum angle iron. And I like there's, you can buy different size cup hooks. You can buy larger cup hooks, but the three quarter inch cup hooks, um, you can see there, here's a three quarter versus 
an inch. I just like the three quarter inch ones are a little bit smaller because the hangers themselves are a little bit smaller too. So um, we used larger cup hooks when we were using the wooden hangers that I would get from my local hardware store. But now we use the PSDR system, which is a way better system for hanging your doors. Now you can see, there you go. That's how we set our cup hooks using our professional template. Now it's really important to set them at 10 inches apart. If you don't set them at 10 inches apart when you're transporting from your spraying um, system to your drying system, you can get a little bit shocked because they could shift um, just like that. That's what happens when they're too close and they'll slide back and forth. And that's happened to me in the past. Have those things set 10 inches apart and they're not going to slide and slip and when you transport them to and from your dry from your spraying system to your drying system you're not going to have any accidents all right now i'm going to show you for those of you who really just um think it's once again it's a sin or just something bad to do screwing holes in the customer's cabinet doors there's a product paint life supply co um at our store we sell efc hinge hooks and these hinge hooks go right into your um, hinge holes right here to hang your doors without screwing um, cup hooks in the doors or drilling holes in the doors. Now, I've used the EFC in hinge hooks in the past and um, they actually do work and they do work really well. But there's one thing about the EFC hinge hooks, they are just in there, they're poking into the side of your door so the door hangs just like this and it goes on a wave hanger. So PSDR sells a wave hanger. It doesn't go on the regular uh, 10 inch hangers. It won't hang on these hangers because they're too small, but you gotta have the wave hangers. And that's a pretty effective system for spraying your doors. However, when you're transporting them to and from, this could pop and slide out. Um, I got a video showing you how effective they do work, but I've had um, one time where one of the hooks popped out and it dropped the door. There's also universal hinge hooks. There's the uh, EFC and the universal ones. The universal ones are a single hook right here that goes just like this in the door. And, um, and it's got one end that is sharp and that's gonna go right in the door and it's gonna hang just like this. So that's another option if you don't want to drill holes in your door. Universal or EFC hinge hooks that are utilized with uh, PSDR wave hangers from the paint line. All right, there you go. A simple little professional template when it comes to setting your cup hooks on your doors for spraying. Instead of having a stir stick or instead of sitting there measuring 10 inches or just randomly putting them somewhere on your door, you always want to have them 10 inches apart. The little device works really well. It's only going to cost you a couple bucks to make, you know, from buying the angle iron and the felt from your local hardware store. And um, it's not going to uh, break. It's not... Um, going to get lost as easy. It's not going to get thrown away as easy. A simple little professional um, tool for cabinet making. If you've got any tips or tricks when it comes to spraying cabinets, leave it down in the comment section below. We'd love to learn what you um, have as ideas for spraying cabinets. If you got any questions or comments about this video or this template or an idea how to make it better, just let us know down below. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you get notified every time I come out with a new video. It's free, simple, easy to do, and um, like we always say, we'll see you next time. Out.